the amount of time it has taken me to figure out what I want to wear today is kind of ridiculous. I went through like five different outfits just for me to wear. What? Anyways, good morning. We are gonna do a get ready with me. I'm probably gonna just do like a wing because I feel like that's simple and easy and I'm trying to go to this cafe that I like. And I just wanna get like some breakfast or I guess lunch at this point and do some editing. So we are going to start getting ready. I have my mirror in front of me over here. This setup is not very uh, professional, but it's, we make do with what we have. I always start when I'm getting ready with my jewelry. I'm just wearing these hoops I got from Target. I'm honestly kind of scared for this week. I'm working Thursday through Saturday. No, Thursday through Sunday. And Sunday I'm working all day and I'm closing. So I'm a bit nervous. I feel like it's going to be mm, kind of scary, but we'll make it work. Now I'm going to do necklaces. All of my jewelry, it's the same combo of jewelry that I'm always wearing. I think I wore it in my last vlog. It's this necklace. I got it from Enroute Jewelry. Enroute Jewelry, I don't really know how to say it. And then I'm gonna wear this pearl necklace that I also got from them. Very cute, love it, one of my favorite things ever. All that's going through my head right now is the Na Na Na's from Two Baddies. That's all I can hear right now. And then I'm hearing Hitchung going na, 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 na. And that's all I can hear. Maybe it's because my album's coming today. I don't know. I just saw the FedEx truck go by. So this might also turn into an unboxing. It doesn't say it was delivered. So so we're waiting. <sighs> I'm also waiting for a set I got from Dreamers Club. Um, it's the If I Stay Here set in periwinkle and i've been literally tracking it every day it says it's gonna come today it's out for delivery since 6 10 a.m maybe i should start doing my makeup i think i should i think i should get on that i used to get ready in my bathroom but i don't know standing for that long of a time just was not was not it i honestly think the light in the bathroom might be a little better but the comfort of being able to sit down while I do my makeup beats all of that. I always start with my brows. Like, I know some people start with their face and then go in and do, like, everything else. But I always do everything else and then I do my face. Maybe because I never used to wear, like, foundation or concealer or anything like that. Um, just because, like, in high school, my skin was good and i didn't have acne scars like i do now now i'm i'm trying to cover up all that all of that stuff my goal is to not have to wear foundation though my skin looks pretty good this morning though if i do say so myself the brow gel i use is just the clear brow gel from ColourPop. um i've definitely talked about this on my tiktok and my other get ready with me's but we're doing it here now so we're gonna start on eyeliner i've been doing winged eyeliner like in high school i used to do it every single day so it doesn't really take me that long oh okay that's not too bad you can always fix it with some q-tips it's okay well we, we can figure it out <laughs> clean up the areas that i think need cleaning up and kind of just like wing it out more or I guess like sharpen. I don't know, you guys probably know what I mean. And if I keep looking at it, I'm just gonna keep touching it and it's gonna get worse. Guys, the camera was overheating so I had to change the settings. Maybe I'll just record like this from now on, I have no idea. We're just gonna move on to eyebrows. I just literally use eyeshadow. I use like a dark brown and a black and I blend it put it on like the angle brush and then I blend it on my hand and then I just I try not to make them too thick because I went through a thick eyebrow 
phase they were like thick and i was filling them in too much and i like it was like all of 2020 and now i can't look at my pictures of myself from 2020 like if you look on my instagram i don't think you'll find many pictures from 2020 where you can really tell that my brows were like thick it's because i thought i was growing them out but that's not what was happening i don't have much eyebrow hair thank you dad so i just i don't know i gotta work with what i got but i have to make it look natural but i also don't have enough hair to really make it look natural if that makes sense i don't know everything's stressing me out maybe it's because i'm recording it is it your guys as well hmm maybe who knows that's good enough now we're going to do mascara and then put lashes on i need to get new mascara i think this bottle is almost empty and i think because i'm gonna like put lashes on i'm not gonna do another coat of mascara i think i'll just do one okay, these lashes i put them like underneath and just in the outer corner these are the ones that i use when i'm putting the glue on i only put it on like the top of the lash strip, if that makes sense. It lowers the chance of me getting glue in my eye. One down. I used to use a primer because I saw that I should, like on TikTok and everyone is using a primer, but it was making me break out. Same with the setting spray. I got a setting spray that I saw on TikTok and it made me break out so bad. I just do concealer. I just put everything straight on my face. I really don't have like a, oh I place it here and here because of this and this. I just put on my face where, where I feel like it. I have a scar over here because I was curling my hair with like this small curling wand and I burnt myself so there's just like a line and then I just put some over all my scars and then right here in the middle and also like under my eyes like that and then i blend it now we do blush i've just been using a uh, lipstick honestly because i also don't have the money to buy rare beauty um and this works good enough and then i put on my nose highlight i just use I literally use eyeshadow. We're gonna do freckles. This is like a brown eyeliner pencil, Maybelline Line Express. Um, it's kind of dull right now, I need to sharpen it. But I just go in, I really keep them just like on my nose to like the like inner corner of my eye, like right here. All right, we are all set. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to edit, honestly, because I need to pick my sister up at three, which means I need to leave the cafe at 2.30, and right now it's like 12, so I'll get there at like 12.30, so I don't really know if I'll get much done, but I'm honestly just going because I really want that sandwich, um, and I really want a dirty chai, so we're going, we're all... <laughs> okay, um... We're gonna go. <laughs> I completely forgot they're doing construction on this road. Um, so we're gonna sit here for 10 minutes. It's 12, 11. Let me turn this music down. I to take my claw clip out. I cannot drive with that thing in. Um, but yeah, we'll probably be sitting here for 10 minutes. Even though I dropped my sister off this morning, I somehow forgot. Um, but it's such a lovely day outside. Let me show you. This guy's so pretty. And it's so sunny, but you can see all the construction that they're doing. We're gonna be sitting here for a minute. Unless we start moving soon. I have no idea. Um, I'll see you guys at the cafe. Okay, I just parked. Um, as I was, first of all, I drove past NIH and there were people protesting like right outside, like the like next to where the metro station is. And they were like, Honk if you want to indict Dr. Fauci, the COVID vaccine is killing people. I was like, are you serious? Outside of NIH? 
what is wrong with you? And then I also, I drove past the cafe that I'm going to and it did not look like there was any seating. It looked so busy, um, I guess because it's around lunchtime. But hopefully by the time I get up there, it will have slowed down a little bit. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna be able to find a seat, like even on the like the, I guess like the the window seating that they have. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of this hot car and go figure it out. I'm gonna take these elevators. Oh, these are not elevators, these are stairs. This is so crazy because I'm recording two videos at once. So, my album came, my NCT 127 Target exclusive Two Baddies album came, and I also got another set from Dreamers Club, so we are going to unbox those. I feel like an idol who's like, I feel like when Mark and Jayon were doing a live on VLive and on Instagram. Starting with the album, you guys are not gonna see my address. It came in this huge box. I don't know why the box is so big. It's really just free in here. Like it was really just, they put all of this stuff in here, but then it was just, it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't protected at all. Here she is. I was so excited to see who I got. Okay. Um, wow, that was really easy to open. Just like, I forget who said it. I don't remember if it was Jay or Tail. Somebody said in the unboxing that the plastic came off easy this time, and I, I agree. agree. It really did. Okay. All right. Okay. Should I just go for it? Should I just? Should I just? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the thanks to, and like the poster on the front. Thanks to, on the back. Okay. The photo card is right there. So we got Toya. This man is so fine. Oh my god. And now I gotta look at the photo card. Okay. Okay, who did I get? Who did I get? Who did I get? Who did I get? I don't even know if these are upside down or right side up. I can't see. Okay, I got Johnny and and who who is that? Johnny and Jung Okay. Okay, now it's time for Dreamers Club. I wanted to get it when it first came out, but I already got two other sets. So it was not in the budget. But then it became in the budget, so I bought it. I wanted to get their most recent launch too, but it is not in the budget currently. But I know it's special edition. I think they still have some. If you want to go get them, go get them. They might not have it by the time I drop this vlog though. If they do though, go get it. Cause it's so cute. I just don't have the money to buy it. All right, let's, let's open her up. These are the shorts and this is the sweatshirt. I'm so excited. I got stickers. Okay, shorts first. The other two that I have, the like the logo, I don't know what to say. Decal, I don't know. It's printed on. This one is embroidered. So that's exciting. But I'm oh I'm gonna have to do laundry tonight so I can wear this tonight. What time is it? What time is it? It's 504? I can make it happen. I can make it happen. Now we do the sweatshirt. Oh god. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. I haven't even unfolded her yet. Look at her. Oh my god. Now this color is just like periwinkle. This is my favorite color. This is my favorite color. Guys, I'm actually obsessed with this. Like you don't understand. And with these ones, the material is different. So it's like, I don't know. The other ones are like thicker and heavier and like 
a lot softer on the inside but these ones they're still soft but they're like I don't know if I you can see what I mean by like the material on the inside it's not like the fluffy material like on the other sets it's like more lightweight I don't know how to describe it but I am so obsessed and I'm gonna do laundry right now so that I can wear these to bed oh my god I'm so excited everything today has just been such a good day I'm so excited and I need to go start my laundry right now right now right now right now I'm just not realizing I never ended this video but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye